if the lobstermen see the tariffs as a kick to the stomach, in Kentucky they see it as a punch to the gut, and those are their exact words. Look, here's Old Forester really trying to open up the Chinese markets to the palate and to the taste of bourbon, and the bourbon business is booming. Uh, many b distillers, big and small across the state, are making international exports a huge, crucial part of their growth strategy. And more than 17,000 workers who rely on the whiskey industry have shared in its success. Coopers and grain farmers and bourbon tourism businesses, it's just on fire. America sent nearly $9 million in whiskey to China alone last year. Over five years, doubled its market share. But the Dispil Distilled Spirits Council says the 25% tariff will just put the brakes on the success story. There's a big fear that when all these tariffs take, a, take place, or, or as these tariffs take place, that the larger distillers will withdraw from their, their foreign efforts and focus on domestic efforts. And that will, at the end of the day, be kind of a price slashing, price slashing situation. And if smaller craft distillers are forced to compete on price, they worry the problems will really bubble up for them. So they're facing not only the tariffs from China, but of course also from Canada and Mexico and the European Union. And the real question now is, you have international customers. How much are they going to be willing to pay for a bottle of Old Forester once you tack on these tariffs, guys? Contessa, whiskey isn't made in a day, as we all know. <laughs> it's got to be aged over a certain amount of time. So I presume that what they made last year was dependent on China as an export market. And so you'll feel it now, but you'll also feel it even a year from now, even if the, I mean, if the situation changes, right? So we're in the aging room at Old Forester, Melissa. Imagine you have to decide what demand is going to be four years from now. They had a shortage of bourbon for a while because they didn't expect this massive sudden boom, especially in the overseas market. Global exports have grown by 23 percent in just one year alone. So they had to plan ahead for this. There's no way that four years ago they were planning on 65 percent of American whiskey now being subject to retaliatory tariffs. It's thrown a real wrench in the works or you might say a bug in the bourbon. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.